Good morning, everybody. Riker Roadrunner here. It's early in the morning, there's hardly anybody about at the moment and we're going to take a wee ride out to the Sky Bridge and have a quick chat about that and some bits about the other sky. Before anybody starts panicking about how long you're going to watch this video for, uh, it's not 45 minutes. I've made it in hyperlapse so that uh, the time goes much more quickly. So uh, stick with me, enjoy the views and um, we'll just see how it goes. The Isle of Skye is connected to uh, Scotland, the northwest coast of Scotland, um, by a bridge, which is the bridge that we're going to go out to see. And the um, the island itself is famous for its rugged landscapes, um, picturesque villages, and some medieval castles. The largest island in the Inner Hebrides archipelago. Uh, it's got a pretty rugged coastline. Um, it's got uh, a number of narrow locks and the main town on the island is Portree. While we're riding along, let's talk about uh, a few fascinating things about, or what well, I think they're fascinating and other people might do too, uh, facts about the Isle of Skye. Um, speed bonnie boat like a bird on the wing, on with the sailor's cry, carry the lad that's born to be king over the sea to Skye. Well, so say the words of a famous old song, but Skye is um, far more than a romantic Jacobite song. The name Sky is derived from the Norse words uh, ski, meaning cloud, and I, meaning island. Twelve of the peaks in the Black Coolin Sky's famous mountain range are Munro's, and Munro's are mountains with peaks of more than 3,000 feet. Also, the dog breed Sky Terriers originated on the island in the 1500s. Originally, the only way across to the island was by ferry from the mainland, and that could be problematic and time consuming if you had to uh, one week for the ferry or two, the ferries weren't running due to inclement weather. The Sky Bridge uh, was then proposed and built and it finally opened in 1995 but its tolls were the most expensive in Europe. The bridge is now toll free but the story of the Sky Bridge and um, the toll situation is quite a long saga which I uh, don't propose to go through uh, just now. We started off this journey from just outside Dunvegan and Dunvegan happens to have the oldest inhabited castle in Scotland and is the home to Clan MacLeod. The next piece of trivia is the world's most tattooed person is Tom Leppard. He actually comes from Sky, and 99.9% .9 of his body has been covered with a leopard skin tattoo design. Probably not something I would do, but he seemed to be keen, and he lived on the Isle of Skye. Although it's the bridge that we're uh, riding out to see today, there is um, a regular ferry service which is run by Caledonian McBrain. 
and uh, that runs from the mainland in uh, Malig to Armadale on the Isle of Skye. The island of Skye has got a population of about 12,000 people, but it gets much, much busier than that during uh, the main holiday season, where the island is descended upon by uh, many, many thousands of uh, tourists. It's probably one of the most popular tourist attractions in the whole of Scotland. Uh, the island also has got the famous Whiskey Talisker brand, and uh, there is still quite a lot of farming that's carried out on what um, the, the, just lots and lots of uh, small farms called um, crofts, uh, and the farmers are known as crofters. The Isle of Skye is about 50 miles long, and they say that uh, you're never more than five miles from the coastline at the furthest point. The town that we've just come through, or just coming through at the moment, is a town called Broadford, and it's also one of the uh, bigger population centres on Sky, along with um, Portree and Dunvegan. We're out of the town of Broadford now and we're headed along the road towards uh, the actual Sky Bridge itself. So next stop will be the bridge. And here we are at the bridge. Um, when the contract was first awarded to build this bridge, the partnership that was put together uh, to achieve that estimated that it would cost about £15 million. However, there was uh, quite a few delays, some design changes, and this all added significantly to the cost, and they reckon it probably cost about £25 million to build. Um, as I said before, uh, towards the beginning of this, um, the bridge did used to have um, a, a toll uh, charged on it. Uh, this has now stopped, but um, the tolls themselves were particularly unpopular. currently on the other side of the bridge on the mainland at the moment and we're just going to go for a short while turn around and then come back and see the bridge as we come back over back over to sky
Riker Road Runner signing off, and I hope you enjoyed the ride.